what would you say to a new believer to help encourage them to get excited for discipleship, to get excited for church? One of the things I'll often ask is, do you want God's blessing on your life? Blessed is he that readeth, there's a blessing for reading, and they that hear the words of this prophecy, there's a blessing for hearing the preaching, and keep those things which are written therein, for the time is at hand. There's also a blessing for obeying the Bible. So God says there's a blessing for reading the Bible, there's a blessing for hearing the Bible preached, and there's a blessing when you choose to obey the law of God. He will bless you, He will not correct you. And you know, when somebody first gets saved, I think it's important that if you have the time for, dis for doorstep discipleship, that you let them know what Jesus said is the last commandment. What was the last thing that Jesus said to all believers? Matthew 28, verse 19, Go ye therefore, and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you, and lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, buried in likeness of His death, raised to walk in newness of life. Jesus has instructed us first to preach the gospel to others, secondly to get baptized, and then number three is to learn the entire Bible. I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, buried in likeness of His death, raised to walk in newness of life. Now look, if somebody just got saved, hey you just got saved, step one was easy. You got saved by faith alone. The next step is to get baptized, and that also is easy. I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, buried in likeness of His death, raised to walk in newness of life. The third step of learning the entire Bible, that takes a lifetime. That is a long ordeal. I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, buried in likeness of His death, so the second step is to get baptized. And you will get God's blessing when you choose to get baptized. That's His promise, that when you obey Him, you will be blessed. When you got saved, you have the power of the Holy Spirit in your life now. Now you have the ability to stop the old sin. Now you have the ability to get rid of the old friends. Now you have a chance to hit the reset button in your life, and God has given you great spiritual power, but you need to use it. But whoso looketh into the perfect law of liberty, and continueth therein, he being not a forgetful hearer, but a doer of the work, this man shall be blessed in his deed.